Hello, uh, my name is Taegyeon, and I'm teaching graphic design at Iowa State University. Uh, today, I will talk about my research, a series of exploration with tangible type, and how it influenced my teaching. Designers can use a variety of printing techniques to produce visual materials and to solve visual problems. As 3D printing has become more refined, efficient, and accessible, what designers can do with the new printing technology? My research explores alternate design solutions using 3D printing. I've been experimenting with unconventional materials, such as ceramics and digital methods to graphic design to create tangible type, graphics, and even designed objects. Especially, I infused 3D printing into my practice and have been working with clay. This one is writing love in cursive letter form with clay using my DIY ceramic machine. I built my own tools. My 3D printers are DIY machines based on open source plan. I'm a design maker, uh, I'm a designer and a tool maker. Technology and design have been in, in a symbiotic relationship. Typography has always evolved with technologies and creative processes as new technologies, processes, and materials fused new ideas and creative design solutions. These are ceramic type. As they were printed with wet clay, they show the nonlinear character of clay, as you can see. As they are printed with ordinary clay, they could be fired and glazed in kiln. Simply, they can be turned into, the, they could be vitrified and become ceramics. I test their different languages, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, and even Arabic. You might ask why ceramics and typography. In terms of the history of printing and typography, ceramic is a meaningful material. We need a bit of time travel. Clay is one of the first material our ancestors used for typography around 3200 uh, 3, BC. As most of you know, this is a clay tablet and cylinder seals. It might be the high tech printing method of the time. This is a 3D printed embosser. Uh, it's using the same idea as ordinary embosser. However, it has a modified mechanical system like a cylinder seal. Unlike today's dis digital printing, the embossing process involves a rich tangible experience, which is more intuitive, fun, and memorable. As a user turns the roll, they can fully interact with the device. They can see the process and feel the paper is beaten as they turn the handles. This is my business, business card maker. I can print my business card anywhere, anytime without ink. Not just ceramics, many materials could be actually printable. I mean, 3D printable. It's one of the most exciting demos in my class, Nutella chocolate and peanut butter. They were printed, uh, 3D printed on bread bag. Yes, they are edible. And 3D printing and typography could be used in a practical application like this. From the top left, the stamp was printed with flexible material. An artist book was made out of 3D printed PLA plastic. The EAT, uh, that's the type planner for basil. And no hate was printed uh, and installed across the campus as it could be installed in, on a standard railing system and easily be removed or like moved to different places. These are type bracelets and rings. Uh, when they are printed with flexible material, they are safe, durable, and more importantly, they are wearable. Many designs could be homemade, I mean, to be printed at home. However, certain materials could be printed with a professional printing service. Uh, in my case, they are designed and sent to shape ways to be printed with stainless steel and bronze. 
the letter form looks aggressive and it is actual aggressive in reality. Now, I, as it's pretty sharp. I know oh, I poked my fingers several times. It's designed with Grasshopper. Grasshopper is a node-based parametric design tool which runs with Rhino. Rhino and Grasshoppers are widely used in educational and pro professional environments, architecture, jewelry, etc. Using the parameters, it allows designers to generate 3D design and type. This is a collaboration with Yohan An, an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin at Madison. The type was originally designed with processing. Then the letter form became 3D and printed with clay and glazed. These letter forms are designed with different seed fonts and basic shapes using Glasshopper. With 3D printing, these tools can bring can bring extended physical experiences in typography. It's one of the latest work. Bubble type was designed and printed with color PLA plastics. PLA is one of the most popular materials in 3D printing. I've been working with a San Francisco-based startup company called Lightform. With the projected AR device, I was able to scan the surface and add an additional layer to 3D printed type. Simply make it lift. Bubble type was also exhibited through Type Force 11, an annual typography exhibition in Chicago. People were invited to touch the letters, especially children love to play with the, the bubble type. Yes, it was right before the pandemic. This is one of the, my student work from my advanced typography course. Students revisited their 2D modular type design assignment from the previous typography course. To redesign their modular type in 3D, 3D space, they were asked to reconstruct letter form with modules and reinterpreting shapes in three-dimensional space. The easiest way is extrude the letter form to add thicknesses but students were asked and encouraged to move further with various forms. A team of two students designed an 3D printed alphabet card from A to Z. The card offers uh, unique tactile experiences. For example, S is scary and the letter has goosebumps. They installed it in the library and invite people to write card by scratching the surface with crayon. My student designed a simple animation using processing. The printing print and then the print block was 3D printed with the wood filament. The final image was hand printed and it shows the progression of the word, the animation, uh, the progress of the word grow. This is the lean chair. LE is the chair and AN is the ottoman. The chair was made with CNC cut plywood. Even if it could go beyond typography, we use Microsoft Connect as a 3D scanner to scan students' body and digitally sculpt themselves. Yeah, because of the global pandemic and shutdown, I had to stay at home and I was looking for some easy materials to work, like soap, candles, etc. Thankfully, I have, a, my, have my garage studio and I have most of the tools I can use. It's a perfect time to work with soap. Uh, I started using 3D printing, casting, and typography. As I have experience with slick casting, mold making, and casting went well. It started as a fun side project and became a design project. After making various soap designs, I naturally thought about designing a package. It, it became a, uh, my class assignment. Uh, a, it became a class assignment for this semester. This is my student work from a junior graphic design studio. Uh, you can see a uh, diagram describe the processes. Uh, my students were able to experience the design process from the concept development and designing the product. And finally, they designed the package for their product. 
3D letter form was designed using CAD. Uh, we used uh, CAD software called the Tinkercad, one of the most easiest uh, CAD software. Then silicon mold were made with 3D printed letters. I demonstrated the soap making process in class while we are maintaining physical distancing. This is the final design. They have, uh, this is soap, by the way. They have different themes such as fun, playful, scary, sci-fi, etc. The last step was designing unique packages for their soap, uh, for soap they designed. You can see a range of interesting ideas and designs. The other set of soap and the package design. My student already took typography one and two and graphic design one and two before taking the junior studio. With a strong design foundation, they were able to transfer their skills, knowledge, and talent to, their, to this project. It's boo bar, I know, it's a challenging time, but we should do what you can do. Uh, washing your hands is an effective way and easy thing to do. And germs are scared of soap. 3D printing allows text to be printed material, materialized in the physical world using various materials. The tangible type amplified visual and physical interactions. It extends typography to perceptible typography with physical touch, which is one of the human senses. It suggests another linguistic experience beyond spoken, written, and visual languages. The design process accomplished, accomplishes artistic expression, construction technique, and materiality. While exciting new digital technologies yield a strong influences, uh, integrating them into design education is a challenge. However, the demand for typography, has, typography with 3D printing has already alive. I hope this presentation could be inspirational for both professional and educational settings. Please contact me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.